So ladies and gentlemen, the absence of any other thing, we all can return back to our offices. Be diligent in our works, do the needs for us this week is going to be stress-free, but that can only be possible if we all are dedicated to our jobs, right? Yes, sir. Good. HR, any information? Yes. As a matter of fact, we have two new staff in our meets. Um, oh, here they are, Mr. Evans and Ms. Ijoma Okonko. They are the new staff we have, office assistants. So I will all just to make them feel welcome and give them all the necessary support that they may need. All right, guys, you may all return to your offices. At least you may return to your office. Also, we're just their office assistants, so I didn't really expect more from them. Anyways, me, I know what I went through to secure this job. I will not let anyone jeopardize it for me. Alright. Mm. <clears throat> Hi, Evans. Um, welcome to GNM Holdings, and I look forward to having a great working relationship with you. Um, thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Mm, nice to meet you. I also look forward to a good experience in this company. Sure. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Are you done? Um, yes, I'm just trying to double check if I Okay, I'm Osha. See you tomorrow. Yeah, sure, tomorrow. Okay. Alright, take care. Oh, you're still here. Yeah. Any problem? No, I was just. I was just checking around and I found you here. Yeah, I am working on a presentation. We have a board meeting tomorrow. Presentation? Is that not the work of the MD? I'll soon be done. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so um, should I go or should I wait for you? No, you can go. It's fine. I'll just lock up when I'm done. I'll wait. Yeah, I mean, you're a woman, right? Um, I can't leave you all by yourself. You don't have to worry, I'll be okay. I insist. Do you always work this late? Ah, more often than not. You know, there's always work to be done and you know, I have to make sure everything is ready for my boss. So is working on major projects and important presentations not the work of the MD? How come you're the one working on such an important document? Well, I'm his secretary, so it's my duty to help him. Okay, helping doesn't mean taking over the job. I mean, there's work to be done, okay? It doesn't matter who does it. At the end of the day, if the company wins, everybody wins, right? Hmm. Okay. So, where should I wait for you? Uh, just stay outside. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. I'm almost done. Yeah, I enjoy. Let's go. It's like it's already 11. 
I should just get a place to sleep on without still just sleep in the office. Um, no, I can't sleep in the office. I need to get home, freshen up, and then come back. If not, I'll be cranky the whole day. It's quite dangerous to drive by this time of the night. Drive? Who says I'll be driving when I don't even have a car? You don't have a car? And you walk this late? Shall we? Okay, okay. Oh. Jesus. Sorry. So, are you taking my cab or you get another cab? Um, I'm going with you. I just want to make sure you're safe, okay? Um, after that, I'll go home. But Evans, that would be wasting a lot of money. Don't worry about it, okay? I want to make sure that you're going to be fine. Nothing more. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we go now? Or do you have any other question you want to ask me? Yes. Yes, So this is me. Thank you so much, Evan. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. The pleasure is all mine. I'll just go. Um, okay. do you have money to sort the cab guy? Uh, I don't know. Or do you want to give me money? I don't mind. I can sort it. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. I'll sort it, okay? Alright. Alright. See you tomorrow. Yeah, get enough rest, okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah, bye. How's that? raising my BP each time you walk around late. Mama, it's my job. Okay, I'm just praying that I'm being made a permanent staff and all this will end. You've been doing this for years. You should just stop. They will not make you their permanent staff. So who are you trying to impress? I'm not trying to impress anybody. It's my job, Mama. And I have to do it. We both know we need this job to survive. You know you're all that I have. Huh? Please be safe for me. Mama, I am safe, okay? Besides, a colleague brought me home. A new colleague? Yes, a very nice guy. <laughs> Mama, please, can I go in now? Sure, sure. Just 7 30. Yeah, and this is the time for work, right? Uh, not for someone who left uh, almost midnight. I mean, I'm sure by the time you got to me, it was late. And so, why are you here this early? Because I didn't finish the work I was doing last night. So, I had to come early so I can get everything ready for my boss. Meeting starts at 8. Why do you like so much stress? Like, why do you like putting yourself through? So much. I mean, you and your boss should be doing this work together, right? 
for 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 instance, right now you're working. He should be working too. Okay, that man went to my slept. And you're back here. I mean, come on, it doesn't make any sense. Evans, what is your point exactly? Like, we left this office the same time and we are back here at the office same time. Well, What's I, your point? I actually slept. I slept very well. Okay, I just thought you should get some rest. I don't know, coming by like 10. Need I remind you that I'm someone's secretary? So if my boss comes in at 8.30, why should I come in at 10? Your boss left you here yesterday. Okay, shouldn't that come for something? Evans, please let's get back to work. It's early morning. Okay? Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. Beautiful, sir. That was a brilliant presentation. Thank you. Indeed, sir. We love the presentation. It was insightful and educating. Thank you. I mean, what can I do? <laughs> That's what we all are supposed to be doing, right? At least my efforts was not in vain. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, you may all return to your offices. <laughs> That was a beautiful presentation. She is doing a good job. That's a job. She's been paid for that. Look, all we need now is to convince our clients and the CEOs to invest in this project. And when that happens, we will be swimming the money. Hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And I hear the CEO is planning on bringing his son to join us. Do yeah. you know him? Yes, I, 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 had, I had that too, but he's not back from the States yet. Okay. So before he comes back, we must have gathered all the money we need to gather. Mm -hmm. Okay? And even if he comes back, useful exuberance will not allow him to interfere in so many things. Mm -hmm. So it's our chance to grab the money and... Mm. And we will. Fly away. <laughs> but wait, this is important. What about audit? Don't you think he's going to do that first? That is why we need to clear our decks now. So that we have the best time to hide things. Don't worry. Before they will find out, we should have been flying away with our money. Uh, I'm going to Mauritius. <laughs> I trust you. Come on. Don't worry. <laughs> I am the master planner. Huh. Are you aware? Of course. Uh, I need to send the mail right now. Hold on. Okay. Hey. I don't understand how you can maintain such calmness when you're trying to rip you off your glory and credit. What do you mean by ripping me off my glory and credit? I mean, the MD and the HR are my bosses. They asked me to make a presentation. I did. They presented it. But it's wrong. I mean, you're virtually doing all your jobs. Right? You were here the entire night. You got here early this morning for this. And for what? I'm not here in the MDs. I feel like killing that man. Evans. Evans. You only just started working here. Don't overstep your boundaries, okay? I mean, this is the norm here. I do the work, they take the glory. End of story, and I'm used to it. So. Oh, don't get used to it. Okay, don't be used to people taking advantage of you. It is wrong. Like I said, Evans, I am used to it. It's no big. Sorry, excuse yeah, me. Hello? Yeah, speaking. Oh my god. What hospital? Okay. Okay. My mother. What is it? My mother. She said my mother just had an accident and she's in the hospital. I asked you what? Yeah. Then go to the hospital. I, I need to take permission from my... From permission my from who? Just go okay. and do that. You, you do that? Yeah. Just tell me my, my mother. Sure, 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 sure. Take permission. Doctor! 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 
My name is Mirabel. Okay. I was told my mother was brought in here and she's to undergo surgery. Mrs. DK. Yes, doctor, that's my mother. How is oh. she? Well, she's hanging in there for now. Okay. And she's about to go in for surgery. But we need to deposit a certain amount of money. Okay. So doctor. she can go in right away. Yeah, you can, you can take her for the surgery. Like I said, we need some money. Okay, um, doctor, how much are we looking at? Mm, well, like a hundred and fifty thousand naira deposit. Where am I supposed to get a hundred and fifty thousand naira from? Miss Mirabel, find the money and save your mother. Are you trying to say you cannot treat my mother without money? I'm sorry. This is a hospital and not a charity organization. Please, excuse me. Uh, and the Send for me, sir. Where's Mirabel? Um, she stepped out. Stepped out? What do you mean? She stepped out. I don't understand. She got an emergency call. Her mom was involved in an accident, so she had to go to the hospital, sir. So she had to leave without informing anyone? Does she even understand what it means to be in an organization? She had the presentation she's working on, and I'm supposed to do that presentation this evening. And she left. Is she mad? Like I said, sir, she had an emergency and she had to run. Maybe that's why she didn't tell anybody. And besides, you said it's a presentation, so why don't you finish it up? I mean, it's your job. My job? Did you, did you just say that to me? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. It's just that now that she's not around, I just felt we need someone to you know, step up. What's the name again? Evans. You just start working here and you're giving me the impression that you want to be fired. You came highly recommended. I can fire you easily. Do you understand me? Whether it's her job or not, she's paid to do it. So call her, let her come here, else I will fire her. Get out of my office. Hello, sir. My friend, where are you? Sir, I got a call that my mother is in the hospital, so I just had to quickly, you know, just come. I'll give you 20 minutes. If I don't see you in this office in 20 minutes, consider yourself jobless. Do you hear me? Yeah, yes. Truth is, I don't know you. Like I ever used to Faces I can see through Hey, 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 what happened? How's your mom? Is she okay? Um, <clears throat> they're asking for 150,000 naira before they can commence her surgery and I don't have it. Okay then, so you just ask the management, they can raise that huh. kind of money for you, right? I don't think these people will want to part with that money. But wait, how come you don't have 150,000 naira? What do you spend your money on? Are you for real? How much do you think my salary is? It's not even up to 50,000 naira. Wait, what? Anyway, that's not even the point. I need to go in and finish the proposal and just figure out what next to do. Ah, so you came back for the proposal? Yeah. Mr. Bayo called me and said if I don't come back here in 20 minutes, I should kiss my job goodbye. So the proposal is more important than your mother's life? This is where I work and this is where the money will come from. If I stay in the hospital with my mother, how am I supposed to raise the money? I need you to just focus on raising the money for your mother's treatment. Okay, for the fact that you're a staff in this company doesn't mean you dedicate your whole life to this company. I mean, you live outside this place. I mean, come on, see, see, see. Honestly speaking, if they cannot help you out with it, what's your business working here? Why are you working here? See, I will listen to your sermon next time, but I really need to go in now. <sighs> What are you doing, sir? What do you mean, what am I doing? Hmm? 
You know I've always wanted you. But you keep pushing me away. Is that fair? Hmm? And you sit here and ask me for money? Look, I can give you any amount you want if only, if only you can accept my conditions. What conditions? Good question. You know. Get off me! What is wrong with you? If this is what I have to do for you to help me, then keep your help. Get it from somewhere else. Make sure you suffer in this company, I promise you. You pushed me. My mother had an accident and I had to rush her to the hospital. I'm sorry I didn't tell anyone, I just, it was urgent. We employed you and not your mother. There's no need bringing your family problem into this company. I believe that there's someone you should have called, a distant relative, a friend, whoever, to go and check up on her instead of leaving your office without informing anyone. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Why are you here? What is this about? Um, ma'am, I was asked to get the sum of 150,000 naira so they can perform an operation on my mother. I don't have that kind of money. So I was hoping I would, you know, you would give me a salary advance just so I can save my mother's life, please. Mirabel, this is a company. We have a budget. You know how things are being done here. We can't go about giving you anything until the end of the month. So if you need money, I suggest you go and borrow from someone. Then after you're paid, you can give the person back. Ma'am, I don't know where else to go and get 150,000 naira. This is the only place I know. This is where I work. Where do you want me to get 150,000 naira? We have the Money Lender Act. We have the bank. We don't lend money here. We work hard, we get paid at the end of the month. So I'm sorry, I cannot give you a salary advance. You have to wait to the end of the month to get paid if you want to see your My mother will die by then, please. And I guess we need to start organizing a barrier for her. Please, excuse Sad. I thought you went to talk to the HR about getting money for your mother's treatment. I did. And she said, this is not a charity organization. But this is where you work. When the company is supposed to do something for you in this situation, even if it's taking part of your salary. That was what I suggested, but she just won't budge. She said I should look for somewhere and borrow the money. Why are you supposed to borrow money from me if it's not the company you're working for? All I want now is just to save my mother's life. That's all that is important to me. Look, no, I don't understand. Don't you have an HMO? And how long have you been working here? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years and you're still being paid 50,000 naira? That's what non-permanent staff like me earn. 
Not permanent staff. What's that? Not permanent staff. You're supposed to be a permanent staff. That's how it works here. I've been a non-permanent staff for ten years. Okay. So you need to go and see the CEO. I mean, if the manager is not going to do anything about your situation, yes, you just go and see the CEO. Because I mean, ten years. Evans. It's down. You only started working here. Do you want to lose your job? So I don't care if I lose my job right now, okay? What is wrong is wrong. Please. How do I go and talk to the CEO? How do I just walk up to him and talk to him? I don't have the balls to do that. He's human. Like us. Okay? So just talk to him. Are you going to come with me? Yeah, sure. Sure. Where are you coming from? I went to look for money. I think you're very stupid. You think this is your father's compound where you go in and out at your will? Oh, this is an office. And you're being paid to do a job. Okay? Is my proposal ready? No, sir. You can imagine. And you're roving like a mad dog. You think we have to think about your mother or whoever you say is in the hospital? You are here to do a job. So do it. It is either you sit your butt down and get me that proposal or you kiss your job goodbye. Did you hear me? Sir, we are talking about my mother. My mother. She's in the hospital and she's fighting for her life and you stand here and talk about a proposal. How do you expect me to concentrate? What do you want me to type when I sit down to type? Are you talking back at me? I'm not talking back at you, sir. I am only asking you to see reasons with me. I need money to save my mother's life. And if you cannot give me money, allow me to go out and look for money, please. Mirabel. I can see you are tired of this job, so I dare you. I dare you to step your feet out of this place. Mirabel, I dare you. What is it? Sir, my name is Mirabel. I am the secretary to the MD. Okay. So, what is it? Um, is there a problem? Um, sir, she has a little challenge. Um, and I know it's wrong coming to meet you, but please, if there's any way you can just help her, please, sir. Well, if she has a problem, she has to go through the right authorities. Yes, sir. I have tried to do that, but both the MD and the HR are not responding positively. Okay, so what is the problem? It's my mother, sir. She's at the hospital right now. She was involved in a terrible accident. And they're asking for 150,000 naira before they can commit treatment, and I don't have it. That's why I'm here to see if there's any way you can help me, sir, please. Are you a staff here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, she's a staff. She's a staff. How long have you been working here? Ten years. Ten years. Then you should have the HMO. And with that, you will be able to pay your mother's uh, hospital bill. Sir, I don't have it. it it's a long story. So, OK. So how much are we talking about here? 150,000 naira. 150,000 naira. OK. Will that be everything? Uh, um, no, sir. That's just a deposit. It's just a deposit, sir. Okay. Go to the HR. I will call on the phone. 
Hmm? She will be able to give you every necessary assistance that you need. And uh, after the treatment, if you still need any help, go to the HR, okay? Thank you so much. Please, 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 please. Right, please, Thank right. You, sir. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank okay. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Go to the HR. Stand! The audacity you have. You want to put me into trouble, right? How dare you? We have a protocol that we follow in this company. But not you. Little Miss Perfect had to go to the boss streets. The audacity you had. You want 150,000 naira, right? Hmm. No problem. I will give you the money. But be rest assured that the money will be deducted from your salary every month until you pay the last dime. I don't have a problem with that, man. I was the one who made the suggestion in the first place. I'm not asking you to give me arms or dash the money to me. What I said was lend me the money and deduct it from my salary. That was what Shut I said. Shut up! Oh my god. I can see you're moving weights in this office. Yes, you are. Ah, god. I don't blame you. I blame the boss for not sticking to his position as the CEO and not meddling everything we do in this company. That is why people like you feel the need to, to, to do whatever they think they can do in this office and get away with it. You feel like you have wings, right? You want to fly, but not to worry. I will clip those wings for you. It's you and I in this office. You better watch your back. I will deal with you. Now get out! Get out! She did. I was surprised when you called me and told me to give her the money. He even further said I shouldn't collect the money back from her. Well, you know what? I told her I would take it from her salary. No, no, no. She didn't no, nonsense, people. Nonsense, people. Look at, can you imagine? They've developed wings. You can imagine <laughs> having the ghost to go and meet Chief Danet for money. Yeah. Look at that girl. Very simple, very, very humble and no, simple. Audacity. I know where this is coming from. It is that boy, Evans. Ever since he came here, two of them have been moving funny. I used to see them, how they, how they move. I'm sure he's influencing her badly. I will cut them off. Put their wings. I will, I will pull them down before other people will join them. Because if they join them, they will spoil things for us. And less money for us. Less money in our pocket once they start giving out all these grants. See, do you know what scares me the most? You know she's supposed to be a permanent staff, right? Yes. No. But you and I did something that she isn't. I have this feeling that she's going to go and tell him that because she's not a permanent staff, she has no access to the HMO, means she will not be able to afford the hospital bills. And you know what that means. Now the CEO does not know that she's not a permanent staff. I'm scared. Vera. I have a feeling she's going to move towards that direction. Vera. Like, yeah. Vera. I will destroy her. Good. What do they call me? Ha! Master planner. Say it again. The master planner. I will handle them in this company. No, no, they cannot. They cannot remove sugar from my mouth. Never. It's not possible. Never. It's not possible. Hey, calm down. Okay. You paid the money. Your mommy is in the theater right now. Okay, she's going to be fine. Just calm down. I don't want anything to happen to my mother. She's all I've got. Nothing is going to happen to her. Hey, so just calm yourself, okay? okay. She'll be fine. Okay. Okay? Oh, God. Take care of my mom. I need to dash off to the office real quick. Dash off to where? The office. I need to finish up on the proposal. Mirabel, it's your mom that's at the hospital right now, okay? I need you to concentrate, okay? You need to make sure 
Come on, where are you running off to? And if I don't finish this proposal, I'll be out of work. But you're a human being. Okay, you don't just switch up emotions like that. You're not a machine. I need you to concentrate, okay? Things are going to fall into place. Come on. Just help me, okay? At least you're my friend now, all right? All right, I'll see you. Who labels like this? Son, I'm happy you came back. But you came back earlier than I agreed. No, I just came to clear my head. Came to catch some rest, relax, before I resume work. Mm, that's right, but you need to hurry up. There's a lot happening and you need to catch up with work. Um, so that the thing is that I don't want to resume as CEO yet. Okay, I want to resume in a small capacity. And why is that? So I'm coming to take over. Mm -hmm. I need to know the people working for me and how they work. Mm -hmm. I want to be more of friends with them than a boss. You understand? That way we can build a better company, better relationship. Mm -hmm. better. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. In, that, in that manner, then I will now tell the MD and the HR. That, that will not be necessary. That's going to defeat the whole idea. And let them just open up to me freely. Yeah, no pressure. How have you been though? Well, yeah. I mean, I've been keeping my head above the water, so I can see that. Mm -hmm. Want me to pour you some wine? No, 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 no. Okay. So how's she? She's fine. And she's doing really well. I'm proud of you. Hmm? That shows you're a man. And Dad, I can never be the man that you are. Thank you for giving me a chance to do this. Thank you for trusting in me. <laughs> and thank you for not leaving a lady in need. Are you talking about, sir? <laughs> Uh, that's what it is together. <sighs> Listen to me. Let this rubbish not repeat itself again. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Oh, so. Good morning, sir. So, you now rig my road everywhere in the office like a wounded lion? Um, sir, I walk everywhere, so I was just checking around to know if I'm needed anywhere. I see. I see you are less busy. I will help you make good use of yourself. Um, I don't understand. So. Go out there and wash my car now. What? What's that? That's not my job. My friend, you are an office assistant and you work generally here. So when I say wash my car, go and wash my car. Except you don't want a job anymore. Okay, sir. And wash it sparkling clean. And if I see one stain, you will start from the beginning. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Good. What is wrong with this man? Yeah, forget it. Hey, what's up? Have you gone to see him? No, I haven't. How is she? Yeah, she's fine. I mean. I think you should go. That's what you want me to do. Do you want me to lose my job? Losing your job or losing your mom, which is more important to you? See, you're going in for a meeting very soon. Okay? Once they step out, you just rush out. Okay? I'll come around later. I mean, don't neglect your mom because you want to earn some money. 
Do you understand? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Evans. You're welcome. Let me go and wash the car before I lose my job. Congratulations, oh. I see you are now washing car for the MD. You're forgetting you're the office assistant. What are you saying? Me and you started this job together, Dean. We are introduced together. But you're always distant from me. I thought both of us were going to be a team, but now I know better. Yeah, but what's your problem? I don't have a problem. I just, I hope you don't get into trouble. See, this, this job took us time to get. I don't want this girl to be the reason that you get sent out. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm washing the MD's car, sir. Is that part of your job description? You are hired as an office assistant, not to wash people's car. <laughs> so I was asked to do it, so I just had to do it. You mean the MD instructed you to do this? Yes, sir. Okay. Then I'll have to speak with the MD myself. No, sir. I, I, I'm not complaining, sir. I, I was like, it's did okay. not ask you for your opinion. Oh, don't I have a right to talk to my sister? Start again. I sent some money to you. Did you receive it? <clears throat> uh, what is going on here? Uh, sorry, sir. I don't understand, sir. I saw the new assistant washing your car. That is not a company's car. It is your private car. So why do you overlabel the people in such manner? Um, sir, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm sure he is washing the car because he wanted to help. Do I look stupid to you? I asked him why he was washing the car and he said that Mr. Bayo here instructed him to do it. People have their job description in this company and should not be allowed to work anything outside their job description. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Okay, I, I felt it was less busy, okay? And I asked him if, you know, if he can help. Then he didn't even complain about it, sir. How do you think he was going to complain? When you asked him to do it, you asked to do it. Because him refusing to do the job, Miss is going to lose his job. No, sir, come on. It's not possible that he can lose his job over not washing a car. Vera, don't do this. Do I look stupid to you? And you, HR, how about the manager's secretary's mother that I said you should take care of? Uh, have you been doing that? Uh, she, uh, 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 sir, um, I think she's fine. Yes, she's fine. And, um, I called my secretary to affirm that as well. Okay, the mother is responding to treatment, sir. Well, for your sakes, I hope it's true that that's you're telling me. Sure, that's true. Because sir. everybody walking here should feel like family. Exactly. That is how you get the work done. Exactly. Hmm? Uh, nobody should be doing something outside his jurisdiction. I don't want to hear that again. Hmm? Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. It's not It's okay now. I need to eat. Mm -hmm. You must eat. Yeah, have you eat? Don't worry about me, Mama. It's you. It's Open your mouth, Mama. It's not about me. See, see what you've done. Do you Don't like it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't start. Don't it's worry. It's not my juice. It's not my juice. Don't worry. After this one, I'll give you water. Okay. Let me get you water. Okay. Start drinking. You want to eat?
Thank you so much. So how is Evans? Evans, he's fine. He said he'll come see you. He'll come visit you. He's a nice boy. I like him. Hmm? <laughs> so mama, should I tell him? Or I should go ahead and plan your wedding with him? What? <laughs> Not to go. You still want to crack jokes, right? Mama. <laughs> mama, don't ever scare me like that again. Please! I promise on behalf of Mama that this will not happen again. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Son, how are you? I'm You're fine. welcome. Thank you, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Okay, I see. <laughs> Thank you so much. She has told me a lot about you. Oh. So, some okay. it's fine, Mama. Someone is now gossiping, right? Oh my God! <laughs> no, just good things. Okay, okay, I accept then. Let's go. How are you? Very well. I'm good. Can I hope I don't disturb anything too? So no, I'm just okay. Didn't. Mama is eating now. Oh yeah. Truth is, I don't know you. Like I ever used to Faces I can see through Very right in plain view Sometimes we fall You sent for me, sir. So, here's the reason for this, right? What? So you refused me because of that. That common office assistant? What are you saying? I saw both of you at the hospital last night. He came to visit yeah. my mother. As what? Don't tell me, as what? You prefer to be with that low life, that common office assistant who cannot even afford your rent to me, who can give you everything you want in life. Sir, Evans is my friend. You're the one thinking otherwise. It better be. Because you cannot refuse me. And if you refuse me, I will not let anybody come close to you, especially that low life. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Get out. Truth is, I don't know you. Like I ever used to Faces I can see through Very right in plain view Sometimes we fall Sometimes we fall Where's the I don't know. Call him. Sir? Should I repeat myself? No. Yeah, Evans, please come to my office. My boss wants to see you. So, are you sent for me? Yes. Um, what should I do with this, sir? Clean my shoe. If I repeat myself again, I will consider it that you didn't come to work today and you are tired of working here. But, sir, this is not right. One more word from you. You will be fired. Get to work. If I use your two knees and kneel down and clean my shoe. Are you pinching me? 
You were a servant in this office and a servant to your men. Okay? Good child. Are you enjoying the show? <laughs> Get up. Because of me. I'm so sorry, Evans. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I mean, there's nothing. Okay? Tell him I'm not interested. And then he sees you and I together. He gets jealous and he wants to hurt you. Okay, he should bring it on. I mean, I have a thick skin and no matter what he does, he's not gonna stop you and I from being friends. Hey, what? I mean it. Or oh, are you scared of being friends with me? No, not that. It's just, I don't want you to get hurt. Never, not on my account. And why is that? Because... Because... I'm just so angry right now and I just feel like exposing the MD and the HR. Expose them? Fraud? How do you mean? Yes. They're stealing from the company. I'm dealing the staff. For instance, when we go on trips, right? The staff are left to fend for themselves, even when provisions have been made. And then we don't get the pediums, not stuck of the buses. Like, he shouldn't just get me angry or I'll spill everything. You mean something this huge is taking place in my company? The staff are being shortchanged and used? Dad, I was shocked myself. A lot is happening. The MD and HR, they are using people to their advantage. The staffs are suffering. That you won't believe that these staff on official trips, they pay with their own money. And the office, we, we pay for these things. But the HR and MD, they just, they just take. It's, just, it's sad. Hmm. This has to be addressed. I, have, I need to address this. No, that, no, 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 no. Please. Okay, there's more to find out. Let's just give it some more time, okay? They'll pay for it. Cross, cross. Hey. Evans. How did you know that I'm so hungry and I was just thinking about going to get lunch? Oh, well, right on time. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> oh Let me my see. God. Okay, yeah, this is for you. Yeah, and this is mine. So I can't like figure you like this particular food. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. I think you should get back to work. Mm. Okay, so. <laughs> right, okay, just let me know if yeah. you enjoy the food, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. All right.
my god, I'm so sorry. No, I didn't see you It's totally fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. I'm just... I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's cool. I was just coming to give you the phone, so... <laughs> you just... I'm so sorry. Yeah. But are you okay? No? Yeah. You sure? So this is what you do in my company? No, sir. My friend, will you get out? I, I, I was coming to give her um, the file. practically ran to his aid. You know, I have been noticing them. And now she has the mouth to talk back because of him. I told you, he is a bad influence. Though, yeah, he came highly recommended and so, listen, we need to act fast. We need to find a way to separate them. You know, she has access to a lot of documents and if she starts paying attention, we are doomed. Don't worry. I will set her straight. I will do that. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> Me. I have plans. Don't worry yourself. Relax. Please make it fast. As fast as possible. What is it? Are you really doing something with that girl? What girl? Everybody in the office is talking about it. <sighs> So it's true. You're really with her. You see, are you not tired? And please, eh? Whatever I do and whoever I do it with is none of your business, none of your problems. So please just stay in your lane or I'll... Or what? what? What am I even doing here? Why are we having this conversation? Office assistant, and you're using him anyhow. You're deceiving him, letting him chase you round and round when you know very well that if anything happens, he's the one that's going to get fired and not you. Don't you have any conscience? You think I have something with Evans? Yes. And he's falling for you. Okay. Let's say this is the case. What is your business? Huh? an office assistant. So? I like him. And so I ask again, what is your business? I'm not going to allow you to rule him. Now you listen to me. Evans is not a child. He's an adult. And he can make his own decisions. I tried. He's not listening to me. I don't even understand what we're talking about. What is the head and tail of this conversation? Huh? Evans is not a baby and you're definitely not his nanny. So I suggest you go back to work and stop meddling. This is not right. It's not fair. You're beautiful. You have a good position here. I don't get it. I'm sure there are so many rich men coming after you. Why are you, why are you now dragging the poor ones with us? This, this, this is not right. See, my God will judge. He sees, he sees the hearts of the poor and he's going to fight for me. What is wrong with you? I'm mad if you, if, you, if you are wrong. So I have to see the mail before I approve because I want to let him know that I am I'm in charge. Okay? So once I see that mail, I will approve. Oh, wait, let me call you back. Let me call you back, yeah. What is going on? What? Do I need to remind you that in this company, you are not allowed to have any romantic involvement? I 
don't understand, sir. What is your relationship with Evans? He's my friend. End that friendship. Henceforth, I do not want to see you anywhere with him. Why, sir? Company policy. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot do that. Evans is my friend and it will remain that way. Mm. Mirabel, I can see clearly that you are tired of this job. Now you listen to me and listen very good. The next time I see you with that boy, the next time I see you even talk with him or walk with him, you will lose your job. If I would lose my job because of my relationship with Evans, then be prepared to lose yours. Eh? I'm not a fool. I know that you and the HR are involved. In fact, you have even gone beyond Evans and I. Yes. So if I lose my job, I would let the CEO know about you and Madame Vera's involvement. Are you threatening me? No, sir. It is company policy. Vera, how does she know about this? You mean she said that to you yesterday? We need to act fast. Honestly, we need to act fast. We need to make our clients sign those documents before the final shipment. I don't want anyone to discover us. Let's get rid of her. No. That's the best thing to do. No, 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 no. She's an asset. We need her. Oh, Look, let's get rid of him instead. No, that would be useless. She's the one with all the information. Even if we kill him, we are still going to be sitting on the gunpowder. Just let me see. Let me, just give me time to, you know, get something tangible because these guys are driving me insane. I couldn't sleep last night. I want you, and I'm still warning you, let's act now. There's no time. See, don't let your need for her spoil things for us. Don't let it mess things for us. Just give me time to think. Give me time to think. There's no time. There's really no time. Act <sighs> now. Happening so fast. Um, sir, you, you sent and me. And don't you ever come into my office like this again when you've not heard coming. Did you hear me? Um, sir, who am I to give this to? It's yours. Mine? Right. So, what's this? Am I supposed to read for you? Sir, I'm being fired, sir. Sir, for what? For having an affair. A romantic affair in this prestigious company which is against our rules. Oh, who am I having an affair with now? You're having an affair with Mirabel. You think I don't know? Pack your sins and get out of this company before I slap you. So this is it. Because she refused you. You're firing me. What are you talking about? I know everything. Okay? I know what you've been up to with her. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll leave. But I'll be back. Come back here. No, no, come and repeat yourself again. Womanizer. Hey. What's up? Why, why did you send to you? I just lost my job. What? How? Why? Who does that? Just like that? Listen, 
I cannot let you lose your job. Not like this. What are you going to do about it? What I should have done a long time ago. See, don't do anything, okay? I can find another job somewhere else. No. Evans, no. I cannot let you get fired. Not like this. Not on my account. No. We'll talk later, okay? No, Evans, wait for me. Just wait for me. Please, okay? I don't need to tell you that I have money. Just bring the girls to the club. I will spend. The bills are on me, bro. You don't know what I can do. You don't know what I can do, bro. The girls are going to spend. What's the meaning of this? Please let me call you back. I have a reptile in my office. You walked into my office without knocking. Are you crazy? You fired Evans and you expect me to knock at your door? I would go to any length to make sure this injustice is not done to <laughs> Wow. What will you do? Go to the CEO? So because he listened to you the other day because of your mother's ill health, you feel he will listen to you when someone is fired? You lie. <laughs> now you listen to me. Bio. If by tomorrow Evans is not back to this office, I would go to the CEO and I would sing like a bird. I would tell him everything you and Miss Farah are doing to this company and to the staff. I'm not bluffing. It's not a threat. It's a promise. She even called me Bayo. Not Mr. Bayo. Or Chairman or MD Bayo. Hi! That's problem. I need to act fast. That's problem. <laughs> wow! So he finally fired you. <laughs> and it was so funny. I mean, he fired the CEO. <laughs> wow. The nerve of that guy. Well, I think uh, it's hard time we showed him his real place. I think it's about time, Dad. Yeah. I think it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show you. <laughs> That you had Evans fired? Answer me! So he was not doing his job well, so I had to fire him. This is a boy I told you I was helping. And you went ahead and fired him without even consulting me? So, call him back. Or else you be the one out on the streets. Rachel, call that stupid boy back. The CEO wants him back. No, no, don't worry. I will handle him. Don't worry. So glad you're back. Yeah, I saw you were trying to fight for me. Yeah, I'll get you back. I kind of missed you, though. I missed you too. So what? What are you doing here? Are you done with work? No, sir. Get into I... my office now and send those emails. Now. Yes, sir. What are you doing, Mirabel? Hmm? You think you're back to work and I cannot do anything to you, right? You see this ring? I do not wear it for nothing. I will kill you if I see you around that girl again. Did you hear me? I will kill you. Your life is in my hands right now. The day, the next time I see you with that girl, I will kill you. I'm 
happy for you, son. In your quest to find out what is happening in the company, you also found love. And uh, a serious warning. <laughs> <laughs> ah, those are just empty threads. <laughs> but honestly, Dad, I can't wait to tell her everything. Well, I, I hope her life will be better. What about uh, Ijoma? Ah, that one is on another realm. She's living in her own world. I can't deal. But you, you just have to tell her so that, uh, you know, these ladies are there daydreaming. <laughs> that she's a handful, trust me. She's too much. Uh, I she, can't deal. She, so she doesn't start building castles in the end. <laughs> you know, hmm? I'm trying my best though. Congratulations. Thank you, Dad. Okay, so from the documents, they are using the company's trucks to carry illegal materials from one state to another. They also have a lot of illegal businesses that they are running with the company's name. So if anything goes wrong, a CEO takes the fall for it. Are you, are you for real? Yeah. Can I see that document? No, Evans, I don't want to get you into trouble. No, it's fine. We just need copies of that document. I already made copies, yeah. We need to talk to the CEO about this. How? How do we do that? No, just give me copies of the documents, okay? And then we can handle it. I'm with you. Alright? Okay. I think it's time to end this rubbish once and for all. by this meeting. Well, you've been hearing me say for some time that my son is coming to take over the company. I'm not getting any younger, so I think I'll have to resign and uh, live a simple life. Oh, sorry, sir. Your son? I thought he is yet to return. Yes, that is here right now. And uh, I'm going to permit me to introduce to you the new CEO of JM Holdings, Evans Daniel. Thank you, Don. Um, um, sir, sorry. Evans? <laughs> this is our office assistant? Yeah. And the new CEO of the company, my beloved son. <laughs> Thank you, sir. He shot to his back. <laughs> um, so, Mr. MD and Miss HR, would you have anything to say for yourselves? Both of you were using my company to commit fraud. You were stealing from the staff. And you also set me up for the big fall. I mean, sir, come on. There's, there's, there's a misunderstanding somewhere. 
Essa, certainly they, they should be mixed up somewhere. You know, I'm tempted to call the police on both of you. But that won't be necessary because I'll be dragging the company's reputation through the mud. Yeah. Right, that? No, no. As it stands, the both of you are fired. All your benefits will drawn. No. And if I by any chance see you close to these premises, you'll be arrested, and not just arrested, but persecuted. Do you understand me? Um, sir, okay, let me confess. It has been him. He's the what mastermind behind you. Shut up. You shut up. Say the truth. He calls himself the master planner. He's the brain behind this all. Uh, let me call security on you. Just the crazy one. Eat one. Tell them the truth. I don't want to lose my job, sir. Please. Sorry, can you get out? I'm um, sorry, guys. So, having gotten rid of them, I would like to announce that the position of the HR is now opened. But the MD is secured, and that is not other but Mirabel. You deserve it, my dear. Yeah. Be the brain behind the company. Hmm? Your loyalty is highly appreciated. Congratulations. Congratulations. Truth is, I don't know you like I ever used to. Faces I can see through. Very right. Why didn't you tell me? She played with my emotions. I'm sorry. I was worried. I was fighting for you, yet you never told me he had no right to fire you. Am I that important? Of course, if you lose your job on my account, I won't be able to live with myself. Mm, so, that's how much you care about me. You know how much I care about you. And now I know it's all in my head because you're the CEO now and I'm out of your league. Well, this CEO is in love with his manager and nobody can stop him. Oh. So I know this is a bit way too fast. <laughs> I can't run this company alone. I need you. And not just as my manager, but as my better half. I mean, so you can take your time, right? You can you can just process, you know. You don't have to rush, I'm not in the hurry, right? So. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Oh my god. Hey, come here. I love you. I love you. I love you. Like I ever used to Faces I can see through Very right in plain view Sometimes we fall Sometimes we fall Sometimes we fall We fall I can never speak Truth. When I look at you, when I look at you, I wish that I could see this through, but I never do, no I never do. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe in, this is the place that we begin. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe in, this is the place that we begin. Sometimes we fall, sometimes we fall.